We are back at Whole Foods, but this time we're doing something cheesy. We've got Daniel and Mary, experts on cheese and beer and wine, and we're gonna learn what goes best with what and why. Yes. So, thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, it's it's that time of year. I mean, all time of the years, right, is perfect for cheese. But yeah, charcuterie boards are really popular, especially around Christmas. And they've got the 12 days of cheese we're also going to talk about. But first of all, how'd you become a cheese expert? You know, I took an exam to uh, become a certified cheese professional. To apply for the exam, you have to have 4,000 service hours just working in the cheese industry in some capacity. 4,000 hours of eating cheese sounds like a regular Tuesday night to me. And nothing goes better with fancy cheese than a fancy drink. And Whole Foods has all kinds of beers, wines, and even non-alcoholic pairings. And Mary is an expert. Part of being passionate about food and drinks, Whole Foods is a great place to start, right? So yes. um, I found my way to beer and wine by working in a Whole Foods store, by working in the specialty department, starting in the cheese counter and then learning what goes with what. Uh -huh. That was about, I've been with the company for about 19 years. So 15 years ago, I was behind that cheese counter learning about this. And fast forward, and um, now I'm in my current role where I oversee the beer and cider program at Whole Foods. Daniel has cut the cheese and is ready to take our pallets to school. Yeah, we've got two brees here right now. This first one here is going to be our Bonhomme. Home. It comes from the Normandy region of France. Very classic kind of French brie. Uh, you definitely taste like the cows are grass fed. You can taste that in the notes of the cheese a lot. Nice, creamy, little bit of earthy tones to it. Mm. Almost feels like biting into butter, but it tastes like cheese. I love it. And the classic pairing for a brie for a beverage is something where it's going to have some subtle flavors to it. Generally, the concepts for pairing a beverage with a cheese uh, is either you want to complement, contrast, or cut. And when you have a very subtle buttery cheese like this, you mostly want to focus on the cutting element. You want to okay. kind of cut through the fat so you can get to the really nuanced flavor. That's why champagne is a classic pairing with brie. And you can also pair it with a, I brought a Flanders red ale, which I really like. It's very wine-like, very different. Mm -hmm. If you're kind of looking for something even more unusual for a brie. So Daniel, take us to our next cheese towns. Yeah, so here we've got an English cheddar called Seaside Cheddar. Very classic, uh, good kind of nutty notes to it. Has a little bit of salty notes on it from just the aging process. Uh, it's one of our customer favorite cheeses. It is an exclusive Whole Foods Market product as well, so you can only find it at our stores. So if we move over here, we've got our blue cheese. This is called Roquefort from France. Um, very complex flavor notes. You'll get a little bit of like peppery, a little bit of almost like a spiciness and a sharpness from the blue cheese. Blue cheese may not be to our taste, but if it's to yours, Mary knows the perfect marriage. Was that cheesy? With Roquefort, it's such a big cheese, as you both just experienced. It is yeah. very you big cheese. You want big flavors, so you want to go for a high ABV, big flavor beer like this, a stout or a, okay, a okay. Belgian strong ale like so this. take your mouth on more um, of an adventure. Or a big wine, a port, or in this case, something like a Zinfandel. So over here, we've got, uh, this is called Keen's Cheddar. It's a very old, traditional cheddar out of England. This is one that they actually will wrap in cloth in the full wheel form and then age in caves for a little bit. Hang on. Age in a cave? Where is this cave? Can I live there? You'll get a lot more kind of earthy notes to it, a lot more sharpness than you would have a lot of different cheddars. Beer and cheddar goes great. And if you're going to go for a wine, the rosé is, is a great pick. I mean, you guys have the 12 days of cheese. Let's talk about that. We do. Uh, so 12 days of cheese is a promotion we do every year. Um, it's a good selection of 12 different cheeses, all handpicked by our CCPs. Um, every cheese is on sale for 35% off if you're a Prime member, and then 28% off if you are not a Prime member. So our last cheese here is going to be another blue cheese. This is actually called Stilton. It is an English blue cheese. It's a good introduction to blue cheese, usually for people that are not fans of the strong flavor. <laughs> so two of the cheeses we tried are going to be part of our 12 days of cheese pairing. The Mount Tam over here is our Brie offering of the selection and then the other one we have here is going to be the Roquefort and it's kind of just a nice strong that very classic blue favorite. cheese. <laughs> so we have a beer and a wine paired with every single one of the the cheeses so if you go to the the website we have all of the pairings not just for beverages but for accoutrements as well for each of the cheeses. So come on down to Whole Foods and impress your friends and your yep. family set up a beautiful charcuterie board just in time for the holidays.